Hey guys, uh, how's it going? Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you just happened to come across me. Uh, I was planning on making some nachos, so uh, yeah. So uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. Let, let's have fun. No, two is off. Now for the paint. Ah, shit. Fuck, I need a can opener. Ah, shit. Get the chips and the cheese. Oh shit, the cheese. Gotcha. The nacho cheese. Yeah, I got more of them. Yeah, that's good. Produced with genetic engineering. Genetically engineered nacho cheese. It was it like, did it like, took a cheese DNA and altered it to be made like nacho cheese? What? Oh, right, I'm supposed to talk about something. So, uh, a lot of you guys are aware of the... Let's talk about franchises for a second here, so... And this is where we're gonna stem into this... Okay, yeah, I just beat it around the dead bush. I'm so sorry about that. But hey, let's talk about Five Nights at Freddy's. So, Five Nights at Freddy's is a hugely popular survival horror game. So, it's a survival horror game franchise. I keep leaving out the word franchise. What the fuck was I doing? Shit. So when it comes to Five Nights at Freddy's, the idea of it is to pretty much avoid getting attacked by the animatronics during your night shift being a security guard at a pizzeria that is, well, known for its history. Well, focusing on the animatronics. So, however, if you delve deeper or manage to be able to look into the story-related stuff in the background in terms of uh, looking around the environments while at the same time not get yourself fucking jump-scared to death. Oh, right. Then you'll know that the series has pretty much given you a lot of story about the Freddy Fazbear pizzeria chain, and pretty much it has a lot of history that doesn't seem to be pleasant. This franchise has done a lot, even though it debuted back in, like, 2014. The first game released, like, in 2014. There's, like, Five Nights at Freddy's 2, Five Nights at Freddy's 3, Five Nights at Freddy's World, Five Nights at Freddy's 4, and, most importantly, Five Nights at Freddy's sister location, which is a spin-off. So, basically, that'll be, like, 1, 2, 3, World, 4, and sister location. So that's six games in the span of... Anyway, it's like four years. So that seems rapidly crazy. And, and why is it that? Well, it's the concept of you being, well, stuck to your chair at the same time. You're not able to move at all. Anyway, what I was trying to say here is basically, when it comes to these games, you don't move at all. Movement doesn't be present in Five Nights at Freddy's. Well, there is an exception, Five Nights at Freddy's 4, but unfortunately the movement has been pretty much like nerfed down to the point. So basically, most of the time, you're kind of like stuck in one spot. But however, another thing comes into play alongside. Now, the thing when it comes to Five Nights at Freddy's, Five Nights at Freddy's 1, pay attention to that. You're, you're stuck in the pizzeria for five nights. This is just basically one fucking level. Okay, so the creator just, all he just has to do, and all he did was just basically just made the models, made the animations, and then just made like, like and then and this is after making like one level. 
So basically, Five Nights at Freddy's 2, it's like, there's another one you, you won't play at the previous location. Here's the thing. It's, it's like a new level. But however, each installation, it's just one level. Yeah. See what I mean? So basically how this works is that level one, Five Nights at Freddy's 1, you get Five Nights at Freddy's 2, you're in Five Nights at Freddy's level 2. Five Nights at Freddy's level 3, Five Nights at Freddy's level 4, and then Five Nights at Freddy's, uh, the sister location, that's that level. And, yeah. Basically, each game is just one map. Basically, making a Five Nights at Freddy's sequel is a lot faster due to how easy it is to make. Oh, crap, I forgot to get me something to drink. So, yeah, it's very easy to make. That's why there are so many sequels in the span of basically like three to four years, if I remember correctly. So, the thing about Five Nights at Freddy's is, yes, it's pretty easy to make. But, however, a lot of people seem to get bothered by the fact that there's been like six games in the span of, like, three to four years. Like I said, if I remember right. Because if I remember right, 2014, 2015, 2016... No, that's three years. But then again, I would have to say four, because 2017, there's probably going to be another Five Nights at Freddy's. Probably a Five Nights at Freddy's sister location, too, so... Yeah. I'm not going to be surprised if that happens. But I say that the developers need to be really, really careful with their Five Nights at Freddy's sequel. Because they're going to fuck something up, or as a matter of fact, create a fatigue. Now, do keep in mind that when it comes to Five Nights at Freddy's, you're not just sitting in the chair while avoiding and pretty much closing whatever door is onto it. You can peek into the cameras to pretty much ensure something, and this is where the cameras become super useful. Because you can easily just close the doors, but no. The, the guys have it to where the power is limited, and if the power goes out, you're fucking dead. And also, another thing to note is that you gotta be very, very aware of Mr. Foxy, the pirate fox, who likes to basically jump at the opportunity to basically ambush your sorry bitch ass while giving you less opportunity to pretty much react. And of course, over every new installment, there's always something new, like new animatronics, of course. But however, new characters to where you gotta be very, very careful. And they can be as equally as savage as Foxy the Pirate Fox. Like, say for example, Five Nights at Freddy's 2, you have to pretty much uh, not get punished by jump scare. Because here's the thing, you get a jump scare, game over, motherfucker. And also, a thing to note here is the, the whoever this Marinette guy is. And of course, you have to pay attention to that stupid balloon boy, but I'll get to him later. So of course, the Marinette here, you have to manage the music box. Otherwise, if the music box stops working, the Marinette's gonna jump your sorry ass. That's what keeps him back. But unfortunately, the Balloon Boy likes to be a little piece of shit and make it easy for people to... Well, let's just say he likes to make it easy for Foxy to jump you. Basically, you could flash his light at Foxy to basically stop his shit. But unfortunately, the Balloon Boy can pretty much fuck with your flashlight if he gets close to you enough. I don't think I was 100% positive with uh, Five Nights at Freddy's. I mean, I had something a little uh, negative to say, and it was like criticizing the rapid growth of it. So, because of this, there's going to be a kid who, I don't know if he's around, or, but uh, there's a, a kid who likes to play this alongside Minecraft. And pretty much if he hears this, he'll probably make a response video screaming like hell and blasting out the N-word. And basically, still screaming his fucking head off. 
Anyway, I'll be enjoying the rest of these nachos while at the same time uh, getting myself a drink. Anyway, that is all I gotta think about, and I'll be looking forward to you in the next video.